Oh my God, Chase Elliott getting into the round of eight. I was on the edge of my seat the whole race and especially there at the end because I was thinking on that last restart, man, he's, he's got to get past Hamlin. I really didn't think he could do it and he didn't do it, but Brad Keselowski fading at the end. That's, that's what really helped us out. Logano also getting caught up in a crash, <clears throat> some points. Uh, there, you know, that might have helped us out as well. But uh, mainly, the, n the number two of Brad Keselowski fading there at the end uh, helped Chase Elliott to move on. But Chase Elliott can't take anything away from his performance. Finishing second, did not have the best car, you know, today. Did, did not. Uh, but the kid is a fighter. He got up there and pushed that car as hard as he possibly could. The team did what they could to make it better. Finishing second to Denny, Denny Hamlin, that just unbelievable. This feels like a win to me, and it, and it is a win. We get to move on to the round of eight and try to pick up a victory and move ourselves on to, uh, to Homestead. So just uh, I'm, I'm blown away. Um, you know, I, w I was speechless there for a while after the race. Just Just could not believe it. So... So happy that he was uh, able to get in there. So, Chase Elliott fans, this is a victory for us. It's a victory for Chase. So, enjoy it. Let's move on to the to the round of eight and see what happens. I think we can perform pretty good at Martinsville uh, as long as we stay out of trouble. And that that was mainly my concern today. You know, you got to keep the car clean, Chase. Don't you know, stay out of out of those wrecks. And somebody did wreck up uh, to the right of him in this race. Uh, I forget who it was, but that that was a scare for me. I'm like, stay out of it, you know. Uh, and that, that's a bad thing about these playoffs. You can be taken out by something that's totally not your fault. And uh, JB Racing News reviews, I'm totally with him uh, where Talladega is concerned. I, I don't even know that I like Talladega being involved in the playoffs because it's it's one of those races where – Anything can happen. Somebody could be taken out, not even be their fault. But, I mean, that goes with any racetrack. But Talladega is one of those tracks where you know a lot of cars are going to be torn up. So uh, they might want to think about moving that race. Um, I don't know. But uh, it is what it is. We have what we have. And Chase Elliott, the number nine team, all you uh, Chase Elliott fans out there, we're moving on. So... Uh, I'm excited about it, and uh, I'm glad that we live, live to race uh, another day for this championship. So he's got a shot, you know. Um, got some great competition up there. I tell you what, at the end of this race, him coming around Kyle Busch, taking second place, that was awesome. That just shows you the uh, tenacity and the determination that Chase has as a driver. We're, we're seeing this kid get better and better and better. So awesome day. For the number nine team chase elliott fans this is awesome so going on to the round of eight we've got martinsville coming up looking forward to it let me know guys what you thought about this race down below overall i thought it was a pretty good race um i'm with jb i think they need to leave that surface at kansas alone seems like every time we go there it's a better race in my opinion um you know just seems like uh, the overall racing is getting better there so they need to leave that surface alone i agree with him 110 percent on that so all right got martinsville coming up great day today congrats to denny hamlin taking this victory um, he's going to be strong in the playoffs uh, i do believe so we'll see what happens guys moving on to martinsville i'm looking forward to that race one of my all-time favorites all right guys take it easy